F-Stop 3.2, ISO 400. Hey, this is Old Man Metal. Hope everyone's doing well and turn that down before I get a copyright claim. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, welcome to another in a seemingly interminable series of videos tweaking my lighting and green screen. And I think I finally got it. Uh, I had things worked out with the lighting that I had to work with. One good light and some other make-do stuff. I had it worked out to where I could get a good enough chroma key effect to work with my hair pulled back. Where I didn't have all the weird little fringes and shit going on that you've got going on if you've got really frizzy hair like mine. And that got me through a couple of episodes, but I've upgraded the lighting or upgraded my fill lighting and added some better auxiliary lighting. And hopefully we are going to see that um, I'm going to be able to chroma key and uh, get a good green screen effect with my hair the way it is now because I'd rather podcast that way. Uh, I'll pull it back if I have to. I'll shave my fucking head if I have to, um, but I would just assume I have it like this. So that's what we're shooting for. And um, when you are going for a good, clean green screen effect, what you need are two things predominantly. You need a good, well-lit green screen because you need it to be evenly lit top to bottom, side to side, so that the chroma key effect only has to remove or deal with a very narrow range of colors. Um, and then the other thing that you need is a good chroma key effect and in whatever editing software you're using. And the stock chroma key effect in Corel Video Studio 2019, which is what I edit with, is pretty much shit. But the version that I got came bundled with a third party chroma key filter. It's new blue, I think makes it. And it's actually a really good chroma key filter. And like I said, I was able to get, get by with that with the lighting that I had. But now getting the lighting um, even more evenly lit, I should be able to uh, get, a, get a better result. So we're going to see. And uh, so just shooting a little video to test. And I'll drop the chroma key effect out now, and you can see the top to bottom um, and side to side, the screen is fairly evenly lit, fairly much the same color. Uh, so that's what's hopefully going to bias the difference. And this is a uh, 2018 Weyerbacher Sunday Morning Stout, so we're living high, uh, living the good life, uh, such as it is with the beer for this little session and about two minutes and 50 seconds so we'll talk a little bit longer and that should be enough time for me to do what i need to do so see if it'll focus on it I bet it will i'm gonna get my face out the way well there we go see if it'll get those code dates on there and if not that's what we're talking about right there it's good stuff so that should be enough. Um, we're going to pull this into the editor and see how it chroma keys and see how it looks. And hopefully it's going to be what we need it to be. And then we will uh, go from there. So let's take a look. Let's see what we got. 